Today is all about microbiological media. You are going to be pouring four nutrient agar plates. Nutrient agar is a complex general purpose media most organisms grow on it. There's two ways you can make it. You can get all the ingredients and measure them out separately, or what we do because it's easier, is we buy a commercially prepared mix. So you just follow the directions, you weigh it out, mix it with water, and then you autoclave it to sterilize it. We also use disposable Petri dishes, and they come sterilized in a prepackaged sleeve. Before you get your flask of media, arrange your four Petri dishes in a row with the bottom side down. To sterilize the media, it's placed in an autoclave, which is at a temperature of 121 degrees centigrade with 15 to 20 pounds per square inch of pressure, and we autoclave for about 15 to 20 minutes. So it's gonna be quite hot. We are gonna place the flasks at 60 degrees centigrade to sort of cool that down a little bit. You will need a set of hot hands to handle your flask. Your goal is going to be to pour the four nutrient agar plates aseptically, meaning without contamination. So make sure that your Bunsen burner is lit. Make sure you have your hot hands. Grab the flask low on the flask, and then the first thing you wanna do is to loosen up the foil. You're gonna pick up your flask, you're gonna remove the foil, and we're gonna do what's called flaming the lip. So you just pass the lip of the flask across the tip of that inner blue cone about three times. What we're doing when we do this is that we are killing any sort of microorganisms that may be on the lip and we are creating air currents that will push the air out and prevent any microbes from entering into the flask. And as I said, you wanna do this aseptically and we're gonna pour about 20 mils into this Petri dish. You want to lift the lid, but you don't want to put it down on a bench. You don't want to wave it around. We want to do this aseptically with minimum uh, chance of contamination. So you just lift it a little bit and you want to pour about 20 mils of fluid and kind of fill up that bottom part of the dish about halfway. Place the cap, move to the next one. Pour using that lid as a shield Cover the bottom, cover, lift, using it as a shield, not putting it on the lab bench, pour, cover the bottom, fourth one, pour, and then you can swirl to make sure it covers the bottom. We're gonna leave the nutrient agar plates on the bench to solidify. Agar will solidify around 40 to 45 degrees centigrade. Once they are solid, then you can invert them. Before you get your flask, arrange your Petri plates in a row bottom side down.